Today on Windows Wednesday, a prediction I had put on a bingo card. No, really, sort of came true. Microsoft is extending the free support with a little caveat, and you ought to be concerned. Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Over here, we like to talk about free and open source software and Linux and why one should consider making a switch to Linux. And uh, part of this Windows Wednesday, we oftentimes discuss the weird things going on in the Windows world because it was weird things going on in the Windows world that caused me to switch to Linux. And that's why we cover these topics. If you like this type of content, subscribe to the channel, leave us a like and a comment down below. And today I want to talk about this article. I, I was not actually originally going to do a video today. I was going to take a couple of days off here, but yeah, my week opened up a little bit. We moved some plans with some people to next weekend over the the uh, holiday weekend, and uh, this one hit the news feed, and I was like, ah, I got to talk about this one right here. Uh, so Microsoft extends the free Windows 10 security updates into 2026 with a couple of dangly strings attached that they really want to tug on. And so let's go ahead and chat about what is going on here. So uh, Ars Technica, of course, brings us the update uh, in the summary up to this point. Of course, we've been talking about this for a while. If you're new to the channel, you are unaware. Windows 10 will stop receiving security updates October 14th, 2025. That is just a, a few short months from now, from the time I'm recording this video. At that point in time, your, continue, your computer will continue to keep functioning However, you will no longer get security updates. And since Windows is the most targeted operating system, this means that a lot of people are going to not get security updates, leaving their computers open to hackers and all sorts of other security vulnerabilities. So it is important to make sure that things are up to date. So your options up to this point in time is if you are a school or a business, you can pay a fee for three years of, of uh, security updates. A Consumer could pay $30 for one year of security updates uh, to bring you up into October, is it October 14th-ish, uh, 2026. But uh, there were no other, other options that you had other than dumping your completely good, perfectly fine working computer and switching to Windows 11 by buying a brand new computer. Of course, we have talked about if that's the situation you're in and there's no specialty applications, like if you're just a basic home user and you're using your computer for a number of things, then um, definitely consider looking at Linux, uh, particularly Linux Mint is what we talk about. Now, we have found and the, the people I talked to, we have found one streaming service that seems to have a problem, that being Peacock. If you're dependent on Peacock, it may not work, although I'm not sure anybody in my team tested it with a full-fledged Google Chrome or not. So we don't know for sure. Uh, I don't do streaming services. I don't know for exactly, but I know things like Netflix works just fine. Uh, and a number of other uh, a number of other streaming services also work just fine as well. There are, of course, many applications you're using are available for Linux. Many other applications you can get that are good alternatives. There are, of course, a few niche applications that you might need to keep Windows computer around. So if you're in that camp and you're looking at this going, do I buy a new computer? Do I wait a year? What do you do? Um, rather than throwing thousands of dollars in a new computer, you could pay the $30. At least buys you one more year. But now Windows has two options that does not cost you any money. And we will talk about these. We're going to talk about the Windows, uh, the Microsoft Rewards points first. That's the first one. Of course, if you sign into your Microsoft account, and we tell you not to get those, and we'll talk about why at the end of this video here. Uh, if you sign in with your Microsoft account and do a series of things for Microsoft, basically giving them a lot of data about yourself, you can earn Microsoft rewards, kind of like, you know, frequent flyer miles for your credit cards. You know, you rack up a whole bunch of debt, get frequent flyer miles, and uh, you're too in debt to go anywhere, but at least you can make a free airplane flight. And I know some people responsibly use credit cards. I'm just sort of making fun because a lot of people get caught up in these credit card schemes because, you know, the, the points attached to them. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, but you can do things like download Edge or use Edge search results or a number of other things and earn Microsoft rewards. And you can actually earn a thousand Microsoft rewards. 
So this is a blog post here from Microsoft, and it's giving you basically it's a big advertisement to go out and buy a thousand plus dollar Copilot Plus PC because you know it's jam packed with all that AI that nobody asked for. <laughs> but in this article here, down near the bottom, they will give us uh, some time here. Windows 10 extended security updates a bridge to your Windows 11 experience. They're still wanting you to get to Windows 11, but they're saying if you don't want to pay us 30 bucks, there is going to be a pathway for you to keep your Windows 10 computer. So for individuals, uh, you have the option to use, uh, pay the $30 or use Windows Backup Sync, uh, sync your settings and your files to the cloud or redeem 1,000 Microsoft Rewards of points. So here is Microsoft Rewards page. So earn rewards with Microsoft just by simply doing things you love to do. Sign in or create a Microsoft account and get points for gift cards, sweepstakes, and more. And you will receive emails about Microsoft rewards, which will include information about Microsoft and other partner products. So, of course, this is one of those pushes to get you to create a Microsoft account. They want everybody on a Microsoft account. They want to authenticate everybody. If possible, they want to authenticate everybody with biometrics. This assures that whoever is using that computer is the person they say there are. It is a way of doing data tracking to link an individual person to a computer. See, computers themselves are not even valid anymore. IP addresses certainly aren't. All these guys trying to sell you VPNs to protect your IP address. They're trying to sell you a meaningless product. All right. Uh, the IP addresses are not the main way people are figuring out who you are. Too easy to spoof. There could be too many people on it. You could be on an IP address with 700 computers on that same IP address. You know, in some instances, you need to authenticate down to the user. And that's precisely what a Microsoft account uh, uh, forces you to do. And the Microsoft Rewards account is uh, one of these ways that you can do it and you have to have a Microsoft account to do it. So what do you do? You sign in. You may already be a member. Try logging in with your Microsoft account before creating a new one. There you go. Visit the rewards dashboard and earn points. Score top rewards. Yeah. How do you do it? Well, you can search in Bing. So, you know, you can earn rewards by using a very bad search engine for searching things. Now, is Bing objectively bad? I don't think it's objectively horrible. Uh, obviously, I don't use Bing. I do use DuckDuckGo, which is basically a, a Bing service. Uh, DuckDuckGo does give you Bing results. Uh, I don't use DuckDuckGo exclusively, so technically I'm earning... I'm using Bing, just not via the Microsoft account to earn such points. Whether it's on your PC or mobile search or in the Windows search box, they just really want you to use Bing because, you know, the authenticated user will log everything you're searching for. And that's useful information, not only to sell you ads, but just to, you know, keep up what's going on with you. Get that deep state action going, you know. So there you go. You have even more rewards. Level up, earn more. Level one rewards. Level two, how to achieve a level one. We all like gamifying life, right? So um, you are in this program. Level one is yours if you're just there. Okay. Earn at least 500 points per month, guys. You are a level two Microsoft simp. It is the way to go. PC search with Bing. Yeah, three points per search, 30 points max per day. Look at that, guys. 30 points max per day. Divide that by the number of days. If you just do three searches on, on uh, Bing per day, signed in and authenticated into your Microsoft account, you too can redeem 1,000 points and get free Windows updates for the next year. Level two is three searches per day, but you're at 90 points max per day. So you can get those um, quicker. Mobile searching with Bing, nothing on level one, three points uh, per search, 60 points match per day if you're searching with a mobile device. And then search with Bing in Microsoft Edge. Ooh, if you're doing it inside of Edge, you get three points per day or 12 points max per day. And then there's more perks. Oh, look at that. Learn points in your dashboard. Level two gives you access to exclusive discounts, dude. Exclusive discounts. Look at this. Rewards for you. We got gift cards for Microsoft products. So we even have gift cards for other stuff out there as well all right maybe you want to maybe you want to use your microsoft points and donate to the red cross i'm i'm down with that that's cool all right you can do gift cards sweet sweepstakes things like that all right other ways you can do it you can simply browse with microsoft edge you know browsing the internet giving microsoft that oh glorious data about what you the authenticated windows user is using on your web browser every day just i will advise you don't be searching for things and browsing the internet related to your career if your career is to write 
mystery novels. <laughs> You're going to get caught up in some of those sweet algorithms. They're going to be monitoring you. You're going to have police knocking on your door asking you why you search for things like, you know, how to, uh, um, how to, how to uh, make a dog body disappear right in between your, you know, steak and egg recipes or something. I don't know. Uh, mobile search, Microsoft cashback. There you go. Earn uh, on purchases from top retailers when you shop online in Microsoft Edge. Just logging into your Microsoft account, giving Microsoft all that information about your purchasing histories you get rewards for that guys this is awesome uh, that's all the same stuff down below or is it hold on are these reward levels the same searching with bing yeah those that reward box is, is exactly the same let's see uh oh if you're uh if you're uh with xbox there you go so you can uh use the xbox app for windows i guess let's see it doesn't say exactly what you're doing there i don't see i have no idea but apparently apparently playing video games with the xbox app earns you points i have no idea how all right so of course getting back to our article the other way they're telling us here and also on theirs uh you can use windows backup what is windows backup well windows backup and restore this is pre-installed it was uh crammed on in a recent update or maybe an update a while ago this basically syncs your uh, now they say some of your settings which settings would those be well you know all those settings that don't deal with all that privacy stuff we like to keep toggling on on your system but some of your settings in your computer computer can be saved into this, but it also will save some of your files so you can very seamlessly set up your Microsoft uh, backup account and seamlessly put all of your files in your Microsoft cloud account. And then uh, you can buy your new computer, log in with the same computer, and then you can that just push the button and it magically syncs all those settings that they don't constantly want care about toggling back and forth and it brings all of your files back down onto that computer this is a very nice very easy way to uh to sync your files across devices it is a very good and easy and convenient way for you to buy a new computer and get all of the files onto your system phones have been doing things like this for a while even though i've always advised against that as well but the challenge is of course it's putting all of your files into your system so for step one of course hey you need that sweet authenticated microsoft login account so you need to sign into the microsoft account remember this is the account that a uh, windows 10 you could still fairly easily get on and create an account without uh set up a computer without a microsoft account windows 11 you they are removing all of those there's probably a couple of ways still out there in the world allowing you set your computer up with a local account but they are as quickly as those things are found, they're closing those loopholes. They do not want people setting up Windows 11 computers with local accounts. They want everybody on a Microsoft account. They want an internet ready device. They want everybody authenticated in. They prefer for using biometrics. They want to know exactly who the authenticated logger, logged in user is for that particular account. It's very helpful for their deep state surveillance. So of course, once you're signed up though, you can back up your folders. You can go to your start menu, go to the Windows backup, and you can expand the various folders. I think there's a picture of it down here. So you can say, is the documents folder in here or not? Photos folder in here. So you can sync or not. And I think uh, you have up to a certain amount for free. And then, of course, you can pay money for more of them. Uh, and then you can back up your various settings. So with backup, you can also back up Windows settings, including installed apps, accessibility language, other settings like wallpaper and color preferences, Wi-Fi networks and passwords. Uh, probably not anything related to all those privacy things that they want to keep turning on, but we'll have to see. And then, of course, uh, once you do that, look at that. It's time to relax. Your backups are done. Don't worry, guys. You hand it all on over to Microsoft. They'll take good care of all of your data. They'll all be up there. You will have confident... Uh, oh, shoot. Now, we talk, cover this article a little bit more detail in a week, uh, recent weekly news roundup, but uh, it's worth mentioning again here. Uh, now, I do not know how or why he did what he did it made it sound like he lost all of his data he basically had a bunch of files over 30 years of his life and apparently he ported all of those into microsoft uh utilizing this same basic system and microsoft's like hey there's something here we don't like and deleted the account basically locked the account and then once the account was locked all it was was just contact form hell, all automated systems. There's no human being. In fact, I was relating this story to my friend yesterday. I was took yesterday completely away from the Internet. It was beautiful. 
had a conversation with a friend of mine who doesn't have a computer at all. He uses everything on his phone, uh, but he had an a Xbox account. And I was telling him about the story. He says, yeah, I had a similar experience. He says, for some reason, I'm an Xbox account. Was in. Now, this is a guy that he is like, he is not committed to any, he's like, let me play my games, let me watch my TV, and let me go to work. That's all he wants to do. For whatever reason, somehow he said a Microsoft account was locked. He was never able to get back into it. He had to go through all the contact forms. He's like, there's no human being. There's no way to get in there. And then at some point in time, he's just like, never mind. I just created a new account and started everything for fresh. And that's kind of what, uh, what happened. So if you're storing all of your files into the system, even if you don't have anything that's objectively wrong, you just... Uh, you know, you just don't, um, it's just, it's just Microsoft thinks you might have something wrong. Oh, there goes your account. In fact, you might notice down here, I, I edited my thing. I took, I used to have social links right down there. Well, uh, the, the Fostedon account just declared that I was apparently engaged in wrong think or something and, and blocked my account. I'll email them eventually and figure out if they're just insane or if, uh, or if they just made an honest mistake. I don't know yet. Uh, I don't really care. Um, but I went ahead and just took all the links off for now, of course, um, when this video goes live if it's like where where's the faucet on link uh yell at them because they banned me for wrong think curiously for posting my video about youtube slowing down their censorship go figure that one out uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> but the same type of stuff happens here right you put all your files up there even if they perceive possibly you might possibly be doing something wrong now you have login form hell you have system automation hell you have no means to get in there and actually get any of your information back this guy lost 30 years of his files now did he completely lose them it was there some technical reason was he doing something really dumb by putting the files in the drives and then disposing of the old drives i don't know uh there's questions there but the fact this guy has 30 years of his life work were uh, related files photos probably 30 years of his family photos all locked behind a microsoft account i there is nothing that would make me put anything i ever have inside of windows backup they might very well look at some file that you wrote i mean it, google was locking accounts if you had a blank google doc in there uh you know you have uploaded a blank uh untitled document no information their system goes ah it's horrible and locks your whole account and then you have no means of getting your files back. So I would not do this, but hey, if you have to keep that Windows 10 computer around and you don't have 30 bucks, you can always use that Windows backup. Uh, you can use those thousand uh, reward points by giving Microsoft all of this data. So those are new options. Now, the problem is here, of course, is that all of this information here, every bit of this information here that they are handing us, it is all about collecting data, it is all about authenticating you as a user. It is all about getting in and doing the things they want to do with you and your data. And that is a seriously problematic thing. These are the factors they did that made me switch to Linux. I know I get a lot of people in the comments, is flip through the comments of this video, they're probably down there, you talk a whole lot about Windows on a Linux channel. I'm talking about why we switched to Linux. This is my story. Windows did weird stuff. I actually read what they were doing with data. I said, not happening to me and my data, and I opted to uh, go a different direction. And I didn't like the Mac layout and, and UI, and you know they're up to similar shenanigan-y things. Uh, and I looked at and said, there's this whole amazing community of free and open source people down here who are simply going, use our system. And I didn't even... I didn't, I mean, I, I cognizantly somewhat knew it existed. I just didn't know much about it. And that was a, a fascinating thing. So I encourage everybody to switch to Linux. Don't give Microsoft their data. Don't give them this Microsoft account. Certainly don't store all your files over there. Don't give them access to an authenticated search history. These are ridiculous things. You might say, I have nothing to hide. You know what? Uh, neither did my friend who does nothing but watch TV and Xbox and go to his blue collar job. And they locked him out too. Are you going to wait till it happens to you or are you going to make some changes? I will leave this video with a comprehensive look at Linux Mint. So have a look at that as a good viable Linux alternative to Windows. Thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.